Hi, my name is Kyle Young, and I'm the tambourine technician here at Black Swamp Percussion. The first thing that we want to do when we get a batch of tambourines is make sure that they're all the same exact size, whether that means cutting them on the saw or sending them through this time saver. The shells get mounted five at a time on the CNC. The CNC will cut out the jingle slots and also the thumb holes for each tambourine. Once the CNC has machined the shells, we'll take them over to be sanded. When sanding the shells, we'll sand both the inside of the shell and the outside of the shell, which gives us just a smooth surface to work on. Uh, we also want to make sure that we put tape around the outer edge of the shell. This allows for the head and the glue to be attached later down in the process. Next, we'll begin staining the shells. After we stain all the shells, we'll spray a sealer on there. The sealer will help protect the shells from moisture. Once the sealer's been sprayed and dried, it'll be sanded down to create a smooth surface. Once the sealer's been sanded, we'll spray the finish. And that's what gets you the glossy look of all of our tambourines. We use the pad printer to apply the logo to the curved surface of the tambourine. After we put the logo on, uh, we need to drill all the pinhole slots. We'll run them through the time saver again, just to get rid of some of the excess stain that's been left on there. We'll also want to round over the shell to make sure that the handle is comfortable. Now we'll move on to assembly. So each jingle gets inspected by me. Um, I'm looking for um, a variety of jingles that makes our tambourines have a nice full sound. Also, I'll look for the hammer marks on the jingles to make sure that it's been hammered properly, it's been cleaned properly, and that it looks nice and shiny. When we're putting in jingles, uh, we, we place each jingle by hand. Uh, we want to make sure that the, the jingles are varied enough so that we have a full sound for each tambourine. Uh, we do a final inspection just to make sure that all of the, the jingles are in place. There's nothing out of line. Um, we didn't accidentally put a third jingle in there. I'm just making sure that everything is 100% is to standard. Once all the tambourines have been assembled, we'll put on some calf heads and some synthetic heads. I'll inspect each head before we put it on. Um, I'm looking for weak spots in the head, some scratches, and just overall making sure that the head has a smooth playing surface. We'll soak each calf head a couple hours before we put it on the tambourine. We want to soak each head before we put it on so that the head is very malleable. From there, we seat the head a little, a little bit looser. When it dries, it'll tighten up and that gives you the good sound right there. Um, you'll notice a little bit of excess of the, the tambourine head on there. We'll just cut that right off so that you get a nice sleek design. and we'll decorate it with a black stripe tape. Once all the heads have been trimmed and the tape has been applied, we'll send it over to get screen printed. We'll screen print our hand logo on the center of each head, just so you know where to hit. The synthetic heads are still a little loose, so we'll need to send them through the heat tunnel. The heat tunnel will bring all of our tambourines to the same pitch.
I'll inspect each tambourine one last time and sign off on its authenticity. Each tambourine comes with a warranty and our own signature thumb roll beeswax. The tambourines are bagged and boxed and then sent to shipping. And from there they'll get shipped straight to you. <laughs> from our home to yours. Thanks for watching.